Welcome back. Let's start adding content to this new collection that I've started in my Wakelet homepage. So I'm going to scroll down inside the collection and simply look for this green plus button. Wherever I see this, I know I can click it in order to open that menu and add content. The first thing I'm going to add is a link. I have a link to a presentation that Trish Rofi from the MTech team gave a couple weeks ago about Jamboard and I want to include that resource in my collection. So I'm going to simply make sure that I've selected paste URL and paste in that link below. We'll give this a minute to load and you can see that a new card has been added with the link and it has tried to pull in some information about this link for this particular card. Notice though when I hover over it, I do have the option of editing how this link appears. So let's go ahead and click edit. The first thing I'm going to do is change the image. So when I selected edit image, I chose to upload an image of the presentation from my device and I simply repositioned the image and click save. Notice that I can also edit the title as well as edit the description of the link. Once I've completed all of my edits, I can go ahead and simply click done to update this on my collection. All right, let's go ahead and add more content. So I'm gonna click the plus. Now I could add a text box and by adding a text box, notice that I could write a message or type a message, uh, something to include context about the content that I'm adding. Notice that I can format that text, including adding links. When I'm finished, I simply click done. Let's remove this text box. Let's go ahead and add a YouTube video. Remember, you can search YouTube right within Wakelet. So let's go ahead and search for one of MTech's Google Slides videos. Once I've found the video that I want to include, I select it and click add, and it will be added as another card on my collection. Again, to continue adding content, I simply click that green plus. Now let's take a look at adding bookmarks. Bookmarks, again, are content that we've saved inside of Wakelet. So I have this saved collection about Jamboard ideas. That fits really well with this particular topic that I am curating content about. So I can select this and click add to add this collection inside my collection. Let's click add again. Notice that I could add images or upload PDFs, but I want to show you how you can connect your cloud services like Google Drive or OneDrive in order to add content from there. So I'm gonna select Google Drive, and the first time I do this, I'll be asked to sign into my Google Drive with my ECSD email and password. Once I've signed in, I will be able to search for my content in Google Drive. All right, once I've found the content that I wish to add, I just simply select it, click select, and that Google Slides presentation will now be added to my collection in Wakelet. Now keep in mind, if I'm adding content from my Google Drive, I want to make sure my sharing permissions are set so that anyone with the link can view. All right, next we can also connect our OneDrive. And it's important to note that any files that you add to Wakelet from your OneDrive will be made public. So anyone who can view this collection will be able to access the files you add from OneDrive. It doesn't mean that your collection becomes public. It just means that the file becomes viewable by anyone who's allowed to view the collection. So I can select go to OneDrive and I accept giving Wakelet permission. And once I've done that, notice that I can search 
my OneDrive for content to add to this particular collection. Keep in mind that as I continue to make changes to this collection, Wakelet continues to automatically save any of my changes. I can always click done to finish editing for now and return home to my Wakelet collections. I can always come back in to any collection to view and edit anytime I need to.